God bless you, family. King Jesus bless you. Hope you guys are doing well today. Didn't uh, get a chance to make a video yesterday. My apologies for that. But we are back uh, tracking just news headlines that come up, uh, putting them on our radar, and then just uh, deciphering everything through the Word of God so that we have hope, so that we uh, understand the things that we see in this world. So I know many of you have heard about the destruction of the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore. Now this reminds me going back to uh, September 11th, 2001, when America was attacked. And one of the politicians, Tom Daschle, I think, uh, the very next day, September 12th, he's reading from Isaiah 9, verse 10, talking about uh, the pride of, of Israel saying hey we built with uh, we built with stones we'll come back with uh, you know uh, like bricks you know basically they said we're coming back bigger and stronger uh, we built with sycamore we're going to come back and, and build with cedars from Lebanon uh, and he stopped at that point and he didn't read the next verse where God is saying you know uh, no it's not about that judgment is coming uh, your enemies are going to come and I'm going to exact judgment on you through them. So, in <clears throat> September 11th, 2001, warning shots were fired. America was attacked. Uh, I believe that is akin to uh, what happened September 11th. And then that very, uh, I think it was that very year, Russia and China began talking about this alliance. You know, and just like in Isaiah, where the enemies of Israel would come to God's judgment would be on Israel through her enemies. Same thing in America. There's nothing new under the sun. What has been shall be again. And here we are, how, how patient the Lord is. September 2001, here we are, 2024, 23 years later. Okay? And I had, had, I had heard it said between the like 21st and 26th of this month, uh, watch for something kind of major to happen. And uh, so yesterday was the 26th, and I was, you know, I was considering what's going on, what's coming. And then we hear about this Francis Scott Key bridge uh, destroyed. Now, how interesting, Francis Scott Key, he was the author of the text of the, the U.S. National Anthem. Uh, could this be another, another part in that, that judgment that began 23 years ago? You know, the Lord's timetable is not always like in a second. Some of these things take time. In my estimation, that this sounds so uh, suspect in terms of this thing happening. You got this large vessel, and it can cross thousands of miles on the open sea, you know, battling waves that are as tall as apartment buildings um, and winds that are, that are so strong. And then all of a sudden, you tell me it gets into the harbor and just loses all control uh, several times and it crashes, taking out a major bridge. Uh, that's going to take a long time to repair. You know, this stuff seems so symbolic. You know, America has fallen, continues to fall. I believe the, the way is getting paid for the enemies of America to come in. Okay. Uh, what else did I read about this in this article? Okay, the company from this particular cargo vessel, Synergy Marine Group, called the Dali, 948-foot vessel that hit the bridge, managed by Synergy Marine Group, Singapore-based company with over 660 ships. It made me think, like, 666? Could that be how many ships it had? Over 660? Who knows? But uh, anyways, that caught my eye. Okay, so anyways, with this whole situation, I don't think this was an accident. Uh, I think judgment on America has been here. It continues to flesh out. A lot of these moves feel very strategic, paving the way for more calamity. <clears throat> you know, also on end time headlines, as I was, um, sorry guys, one second here, here we go. As I was just looking at different headlines, I also saw, I tell you, iPhones. I, I didn't, never grew up with an iPhone. It's always been an Android. These things throw me off so much. Um, anyways, 
I had seen it said also about all these illegals who have come into this country of America that they could be set off um, within our country. So the point being, America's infiltrated and uh, it's very highly unlikely that a lot of these things are coincidences or, you know, just, oh, those things happen. Like, uh, the setup is here. Um, America is in trouble. But the good news, King Jesus is coming. And something I noticed from Revelation chapter 3, I want to end with here, about the church of Philadelphia. And to the angel of the church in Philadelphia write, the words of the Holy One, the true one, who has the key of David, who opens and no one will shut, who shuts and no one opens. I know your works. Behold, I have set before you an open door, which no one is able to shut. I know that you have but little power, and yet, and then two things, you have one, kept my word, and two, have not denied my name. So it makes me think, as we are that Philadelphia church with little power, but the Lord opens doors for us. And how does he open these doors for us? I think the key is shown in these two pieces. We have, we need to keep God's word. We need to obey. We need to continue to walk in obedience and not deny his name, not be ashamed of the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus has so much power. Um, I think when we do those two things and walk in, in that regard, uh, that's how it is that the Lord, who has the master key to these doors, can hold this door open for us. Uh, we can't expect doors to be open for us if we're doing the opposite of what King Jesus is saying here. So, keeping his word, if we are disobedient, um, it's going to be hard for, it's going to be pretty hard. I mean, nothing's hard for the Lord, but uh, his word is specific that he's going to open the doors when we do these things, when we keep the word in obedience and uh, don't deny his name. So, if we're ashamed of Jesus, don't want to mention it, don't want to talk about it. Um, Jesus says, if you deny me, I will deny you before my Father. So, let's have no shame. And I know many of you watching, we don't have shame. We're proud to be named of Jesus uh, to say he's our savior he saved our lives he loves us he is a good father um, Jesus being the Godhead three in one so uh, he is all those things savior messiah master father creator king all these things guys so take those two things uh, in your spirit today and walk in them to keep God's word uh, walk in obedience continue striving don't go to the right or left you just go straight ahead put your hand to the plow and you keep going you don't look behind you just keep going uh, try to filter out all these other things like uh, Romans 12 too we are not conformed to the, this world but we are transformed by the renewal of our mind so that we may know the will of God let's do that let's not just be a cookie cut out of this world let's be transformed into something greater and let's definitely not deny Jesus name let's be proud of it let's use his name in our prayer Let's come in the name of Jesus to everyone we interact with. And uh, I believe when we do these things, that door is going to be open for us and we're going to see it. And no man can shut it. And the Lord will give us power and courage and confidence to walk through it, come what may. Whether it be a scary looking situation or looking awesome, we're going to know that, hey, I've been obedient. And I'm not ashamed of Jesus. I'm walking forward. He promised he's going to open that door that no one can shut. So guys, I hope this was powerful for you today. Uh, just a little insight I received from uh, the book of Revelation. And again, with these uh, news headlines, America's under attack. Uh, we know that, but there's nothing new under the sun. This was destined to come uh, because of the sin of the world, and especially of this country. The King Jesus draws uh, so close, so near. Our catching away could be this very day. So be encouraged by that and never forget that. It is a gift this day we are in. All right, guys, thank you for watching my video. I appreciate it. Please quick hit the thumbs up and share my video. I will see you next time. God bless you.